Good morning, everybody. And once again, thank you for allowing me into your home and welcome into my home. You know, I want to thank everybody that sends me very kind DMs on Instagram, Facebook, through my social media. You know, they're very sincere, very honest people. And a lot of people want to come by. They see they want to meet me coming in from out of town. Okay. I love to be able to meet everybody. But let me explain what a day in a life for the 76 year old man is. It's not that I wake up in the morning and I had nothing to do. Okay. Because I don't stop from the moment I wake up until the moment I go to bed at night. I'm helping people. And this, I believe, truly was my destiny to become a humanitarian and helping people. I've helped these several young men stay out of crime, staying out of the gang, staying out of the life. Okay, I met the young men to go to college, to get a trade. But it don't stop. Every day I'm doing something. I want to tell you a story about last night. As you all know, I'm very big in Clubhouse. Okay? It's a great app. I met a lot of great people from there. But last night, as I was talking in a room, a motivational room, okay, somebody in the audience listened to me. A young man from India. He DM'd me immediately. He wanted to talk to me. He wanted my advice. This young man wanted to commit suicide. Yeah, I get these kind of things, folks. A lot of people would ignore him. Not me. I started talking to him immediately. I convinced him not to commit suicide. I explained to him how to reach his goals. I explained to him that we will have failures in life as long as we're trying to achieve our goals. And the failure, you gotta look at them as though it's just a battle, okay? And you gotta win a battle, after battle, after battle, until you win the war. We live in troubled times. I put on a television, I put on the local news. People going in, grocery store, drug stores, taking everything off the shelf, nothing happening. A very dear friend of mine, wife, in a good area of town. This is happening, folks. At the checkout counter, somebody steals their wallet or steals it out of her purse and they and out of the thing. Within minutes, they are charging things on her credit cards, her driver's license there, her insurance papers are there. Okay, yeah, the banks will give her back the money. That's not a big deal. But well, why somebody go out and got to hassle people like this here? Who's doing nothing? Just going into the grocery store to get some food to eat and you got to be robbed? That's not right. It should be safe for people to go out in their neighborhoods. Why are people doing this here? What has happened to this country? I'm a gangster, a reform gangster. But I always believe we need laws. Some laws are good, some are bad, but we need laws. We need police. People want to defund the police. How crazy is that? I'm sorry folks for coming out, but you all know that I'm trying to make this world a better place. I need more help. And I'm asking you all once again, read the epilogue of my book. Read the epilogue. The last paragraph in this book. This book is not just about a gangster. There's a lot more to this. Read the epilogue for me. When I ask for everybody 
join hands. Let's together make this world a better place. We could do it. I thank you all. God bless you. Today's Sunday. Have a blessed Sunday. God bless.